walk into our apartment. This is uh, the door where you come in. We've got hanging up here just our keys and our dog leash for our dog Luna. And then directly to the right of the door is our pantry. So as I open it here, we've got all of just like our food storage up here is where we're currently storing extra diapers. And then we just also have like a bag that's pretty much just got bags in it, a bag of bags. And then here we have a basket for our hats, our gloves and scarves, all of our laundry essentials, and then this is more dog stuff um, for our dog Luna. Um, at the bottom we have our snow boots and our vacuum, and these are two folding chairs for the summertime. And that is an extra big box of wipes from Target and our broom. So that is what we keep in our pantry. I'm sorry if I sound out of breath. I am 36 weeks pregnant. This is our dog Luna. Her bed stays right here in this little nook. And then uh, on top we have the, these glass shelves. And what we keep on the glass shelves right now are all of baby boy's books. So at my baby shower, Instead of having people bring a card, I ask that they bring a book and sign the book. And then up here on the second one, we just have like our um, paper pads and scissors and pens. Um, we keep coupons in there and just like random office supplies. Um, Jesse, my husband, <laughs> he's right there. Um, it's his birthday's coming up, so birthday cards and just some like fun little cards that I've gotten and then we just have some decorations up here as well. So then to the left of the front door is our kitchen. We keep Luna's uh, dog bowl in here, um, our like utensils and stuff that we're gonna use. Um, we've got our calendar and then I've bought some paper bowls and plates for whenever the baby comes. I don't wanna to have to be doing a ton of dishes. Um, my mom's gonna come and stay with us for a while too, so this way it's just easy. Um, in here, we've got our cups and plates, and right now we've just got like a couple little baby things in there. I'm assuming we're probably going to be taking down some of the stuff that we don't use as much and putting like more bottles in there. Up here, I can't really reach it right now, but that's just storage. We keep extra um, paper towels in there, uh, some candles, and we also have formula. I'm planning on breastfeeding, but um, I've gotten some free formula in the mail and I thought it would be smart just to keep some on hand just in case uh, for whatever reason I may need it. Over here, it's freezing cold right now. It is winter time in Chicago. So I think it's two degrees outside. So we've got, um, you can see there's like snow outside. I think we've got, um, we've got our humidifier going. And so in this drawer, we just have our um, cutlery, sink, also have up here is a bottle sanitizer um, that just you put all your bottles and binkies and whatever in there and then you can microwave it and it sanitizes them so we're just keeping that up there. In addition we have um, just like our spices, my prenatal vitamin we got from Ikea. Also from Ikea is this like hanging plant thing that we keep um, some mugs on and of course our coffee maker um, and that's a coffee grinder. Moving on into our living room. Right now we are using this uh, old crate as our coffee table. Jesse, we used to live in Brooklyn, New York and Jesse got it um, like at a yard sale in Brooklyn for just a couple bucks. So it's got um, just some extra storage in there. Uh, right now we've got like an uh, exercise ball that I think Jesse's going to blow up so I can start using that soon. Um, 
extra like dishes and stuff from our wedding is in there. This is gonna be my rocker. Uh, we got it from Bye Bye Baby. It was a gift from my parents and it's really nice. It uh, pulls out here. I didn't want something that had a footrest because again, it would just take up space. And then Jesse bought this really cute little blanket from, I think it was from Pottery Barn Kids. He kind of splurged on it. But when he found out he was having a boy, he had to get it. So, And then this is also just like something random my parents let us have. It's just this tiny little table that kind of fits in this little little space um, and I'll be able to put all of my breastfeeding stuff on there for midnight feedings. Um, I have a little portable light that I can put there and just whatever I need. This is our couch and uh, we have a uh, light and the world map. And so, again, it's so cold outside. There's Luna. And Luna's toys are in this basket. We have to tip over for her every day so she can get into it. Um, over here, we just have a basket that's got extra blankets in it. And then our TV and this swing. This swing is something I registered for and I'm super excited about it. It has really good reviews. Um, it's a little bigger when we got it. I didn't realize it was gonna be so big. Um, so it's a little bigger than I thought, but I think it works in this space. And then we've got a lot of extra storage in our uh, TV area, like in this drawer, it opens up. And we just have a basket that's got some of his toys in there. Um, we keep our like remotes and stuff, my iPad in that drawer. This drawer is totally empty. And then in there we just have like some DVDs and things like that. And then up here is this little faux mantle that again, we got at Ikea and uh, we just have books and some decorations up there for right now. So that is our living room area. And then if you turn around on this side, so there's the kitchen and the book storage. We have our baby changing area. This is kind of like our little nursery nook that we're using. Hi, you can see me <laughs> in the mirror. Um, so we got these chairs when we first moved in. As you can see, this isn't a real bar area. It's definitely more of just like a counter with a tiny overhang. In a traditional setting, you'd probably have a round table in here and use this as your little dining room, but to save space, we just bought two chairs and we just eat all of our meals on this countertop. It's totally worked for us for the past year since we've lived here. Probably gonna be leaving here when he's about seven months old. So we might get um, like a high chair that either like hooks up right here or um, just a high chair to put here whenever he gets a little bit older. Um, but we got this um, dresser at Ikea as well. It was in the clearance section. So we only got it for like $100, which is totally awesome. Um, and we bought this changing pad cover just to go on top. Jesse secured it on top. And then we've got our Ubi diaper pail and his uh, laundry basket here. And then we just put a mirror up, um, kind of gives the illusion of more space. I might put some like greenery around the mirror for springtime. And then up here, we just installed two shelves. Um, this has got like all of his diapers and butt paste and all of that good stuff in here. Um, there's his little ultrasound picture. Um, I'm gonna move the wipes down here whenever he gets here. All of his stuff fits in here. So we've got a lot of extra room in here. We've got these drawer dividers, again, that we got at Ikea. Um, this is all just like free samples that I've gotten from like, we went to a baby show in Chicago and then also some like fun stuff that I've gotten um, uh, from my baby shower. Uh, but all of these Dr. Brown's bottles I got totally for free um, from different sites like 
Target, you can sign up and you get a baby box on Amazon. And then in here, we have um, like my breast pump and somebody told me to use these doggy piddle pads and put them on the changing table when you're changing. And I thought that was a really smart idea because these are left over from when this little girl was a puppy. She never really used them, but we have the, these left over. So I thought, oh, that's really smart. And then that's like an actual changing pad that I will use in my um, diaper bag once I start using that. These are just some um, folded pants of his, um, hats and um, socks. And then this last drawer has my boppy pillow and just all of his blankets. If we open this, in here we have all of his hanging clothes hung up, um, sweet gifts from people. We have a big um, box and again, that's just got more storage in it. And then moving on into, we have this tiny little nook. We bought this at Home Goods. Uh, my computer is on top and again, more storage. Um, we just keep, we have like a couple board games and um, like Jesse's toolbox and our iron and different stuff like that, some music. So to the left is the bathroom. It's pretty, it's pretty small, but it does the trick. Um, and we have hanging up here, just, you know, very basic stuff. Um, it's got a little linen closet. We've got extra towels, my like makeup, all of my stuff here, some of Jesse's stuff, a scale that shuts. Um, we have this nice like organizer here. This isn't really for baby, but just kind of where we keep stuff. And then underneath, if we open this up, I've got my hair dryer, extra toilet paper rolls, and then we have all of the feminine products that I'm gonna be using for postpartum, as well as in this basket, we have like um, a thermometer. We keep, uh, this is a little tub that fits in the sink. Um, for him so that's where we're keeping the tub for right now and then um, back there is just some like Epsom salt for whenever I'll take a bath and some baby uh, shampoo and baby bath wash so now exiting the bathroom coming into our bedroom uh, when you first walk in right to the left we have his crib so this is a mini crib. We got it from Bye Bye Baby. And it fits perfectly in this little nook. And then right here, we've got our stroller that we're using. Again, right now it's so cold outside, we're not gonna be going on a ton of walks. So this is brand new, it's like clean and everything. And it's been approved for safe sleep. So whenever he gets here, we're gonna put this down and this zips out and it's a bassinet. So he will be sleeping in this bassinet right next to our bed for the first month or so. And then I have my end table. This is our bed, our window. Jesse and I made a vision board for 2019, so there's that. We have our mirror. We're also just kind of storing um, his car seat is just here right now again just because it's so cold outside we figure we can always just grab it whenever we're heading to the hospital this is our uh, dresser and we've got another little humidifier up there and this is our picture of disneyland that is going to be above his bed and his bed and then this is our closet so inside our closet it's Pretty small I've got my diaper bag um, there again more just like tubs for storage the one on top is totally empty and we're just using that um, to put like clothes whenever he grows out of them that is Jesse's hospital bag that he has packed our hamper Jesse's side of the closet my side of the closet I've got my hospital bag packed and ready to go there so we can definitely add more storage up here if we need to, 
but we definitely are trying to live more of a minimalist life, at least while we are in this tiny apartment. Um, we have wedding pictures and a little bit of art on the wall. Again, this is just another view of our apartment. So this is how we have things set up for our baby boy right now. We also have out here, um, this slides open and we have a little porch area, which will be nice in the summertime when it gets warmer to be able to sit outside. Uh, but for right now, it is stinking cold <laughs> and that stays pretty much shut off. So this is what we have, this is what we're working with and you know, babies are, are awesome and they don't need a ton. They just need your love and they need their diaper changed and they need fed and they need a place to sleep. So we've got all those things covered and uh, we're looking forward to bringing him home in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, this is what we've got. I'm sure that certain things will be moved and certain things will be changed. But for right now, this is kind of our plan for whenever we bring him home and we're really excited. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any uh, tips or anything you think I could change or make better. And thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.